Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your February 24th, 2024 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say, angels and spirit guides. I love that your cards are just falling out all over the place. <laughs> Show me clearly, guide this reading, and show me clearly. Okay. So I love this release of vampiric energy that's going on right here with the four of wands, not the wands, four of pentacles reverse. Now the four of wands reverse, it's interesting. Now it's negative energy around a home or a commitment, but here with the four of wands, it feels like things are just a little bit unstable. Now this can be at work, at home. It, it's just like there's there's a sense of something that isn't being celebrated. Now, there's all these reasons here to be celebrating, but here there's just a sense like, eh, I don't want to, which is very powerful course for this moon. This moon is just a little bit of a downer. And I, I don't mean that in a, in a nasty way, but it is a little bit of a downer moon. I've been seeing this time and time again in the cards for, for, for everyone, you know, during these readings. So just be mindful about this. You do have very positive, you know, Queen of Pentacles energy coming through, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This full moon is in Virgo. So that is a positive for you most definitely. This will come out, you'll come out of this moon a little bit less less scathed than other people will. So that's nice. But there, there is a sense here of finding your prosperity, embracing your success, you know, looking at the way that you need to move forward for you and really nurturing yourself and what you love and what you want. Everything is changing. And you might find here with the Six of Cups, everything is changing around what you love. What with the Six of Cups, with the Six in the Major Arcana, which is the Lover's card. So there, there is a sense here, but also what you love. Like, okay, so the Six of Cups came forward for a reason. And the Six of Cups is... Is the past coming in so we can be having the wheel of fortune like a change from the past from what once was to what is now moving us forward pisces and moving us forward in a very determined focused direction now if you have air if you have gemini energy in your chart if you have gemini energy in your life it will play a positive powerful way to move forward there's also this release of vampiric energy you're crowned with the energy of the eight of cups and the eight of cups is walking away from what you once thought you would love now there's an ending to something here an ending as severe as a divorce now i don't want you to get scared and say oh my gosh that means i'm getting a divorce it doesn't no it doesn't what it means is that some might be some might be going through it and be like mm -hmm, leaving that person absolutely no joke Others are going to be saying, I'm changing my mindset. You know, I'm not going back into that headspace. Others will say, I'm, I'm changing that job. I'm not working there ever again. Others will say, you know, I'm, I'm moving house. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. It's just a profound change to something that you thought like, oh, wow, I could do this forever. And then you're like, oh, no, I, I really can't. And it's an awakening that's happening. So let's see what spirit has to say. Now, if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a heart in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on the 1st of March. So good luck to everyone. So let's see here, angels and spirit guides show me clearly. This is blessed. Now here, blessed is reversed. And that again is par for course of this moon where we don't necessarily feel blessed. We don't necessarily feel like we're moving forward in the right direction. But spirit wants you to know that even if you don't feel blessed, you are blessed. You know, it's not to say that because people have less than you should feel like happy, but it is to say, look at what you have. It's very easy to compare ourselves to people who have obscene amounts of everything, or at least, you know, post like they do online and make us feel bad about ourselves. Look at the prosperity that you have. Look at your blessings. Look at your, you know, abundance. It's time to start feeling blessed. Even if right now, because blessed is reversed, we don't feel it at all. And that's okay. You know, we all go through those moments. But finding our center again and finding what makes us happy and what brings us joy, that's super, super, super important. Our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is holistic health. This is the root chakra. And this is spirit saying, hey, listen, pay attention to your body. Pay attention to what your body is, is telling you because holistically we have to move forward in our health. 
And this can be, you know, starting to do things for ourselves that can increase increase our own health, like having a little box garden that we keep on the window that where we grow our own herbs. It doesn't have to be that intense. You know, we can be starting to eat foods that our bodies say, oh, yes, I love that. Or, oh, no, not that, you know, type of thing. And it's not like, you know, the bad foods where it's it's like, you know, oh, yes, I only want to eat McDonald's. Thank you very much. But it's it's really listening to how our body feels as as we move forward in this world. That is super, super, super important. You now you can realize that, oh, wow, I really love going for walks. And so you you take time every day to go just for a little bit of a walk. And if you can't do that, you know, even just visualizing yourself walking can be so calming and healing. Let's see what our energy to be mindful of is angels and spirit guides show them clearly. Okay, so this is the eight of wands reverse. Things are not going to be moving as quickly as we want them to be. And that's okay. You know, also a lot of this moon is like, hey, listen, slow it down, slow it down and get everything centered. So that's going to be important. Now, also know that Virgo is our sister sign. So this can bring up the best in us, this this full moon, or it can bring out the worst in us. So just be aware of this. But we are definitely walking away from something we once thought we would love. It's like, nope, you know what? I'm done. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on. You know, it was nice while it lasted, but it's kind of like that song, Thanks for the Memories. And there's, there's just a sense of thank you, but now it's time to move forward. And that's what we're going to be seeing with ourselves, even with our mindset. And it's going to be very powerful with our mindset. It's time to move forward. It's time to release certain thoughts, certain fears, certain things like, oh, no, I couldn't possibly do this or do that. And it's also time to cut yourself some slack. We are expecting everything to move so fast. Our world moves so fast. And some of us can keep up really, really well with it. And it's like, oh, yes, I love this super stress time. And others of us are like, no, I just need things to calm down. And that is okay. We need to start celebrating our home and ourselves. Now, if we do not have a home, if we do not have a place we feel safe, then it is knowing that that has to be a priority for us to, to find a place where we feel safe. It doesn't have to be, you know, a... I'm just seeing, and I know this might be random, and you might be thinking, you know, what the heck is she talking about? But Spirit is showing me somebody living in their car. And it's like, I'm not doing this forever. And that is absolutely true. You're not. Okay? If you love living in your car and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? I love this. Hey, th that's, not, that's not for you. But what Spirit is saying here is there's somebody who's going through a really hard time. And it almost feels like anytime you think that you finally set down roots or you're finally safe and you're finally secure, something gets pulled from out from underneath you, right? This is going to be a time of immense healing around that. And this is also going to be a time of really kind of like stepping back and saying, what do I need? What do I need? What do I want? And this can't even be like super relocating to a place that is less expensive. And I know that that might not be for everybody to say, can I make it here? And that can be a very big change. All right. So so just be aware of this during this time. And I see I see you planting seeds. I don't know if you're literally planting seeds, but I see planting seeds. And that that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. That means that things are growing. Things are moving forward. With the queen of pentacles, prosperity, success, bounty, abundance. This moon brings us bounty, but it also brings certain things into focus that we would rather not look at at times. And that's okay. Like we needed to see it. Moving forward in love, our dreams are going to be talking a lot to us and moving forward in prosperity and also, you know, sitting there and saying, I need to feel good about myself in order to, to embrace the prosperity, wealth and abundance that I want within this world. So looking at ourselves and saying, I love you. I'm here for you. You're prosperous. You're bountiful, you know, and I'm celebrating you. That is going to be a very big deal. The Wheel of Fortune is telling us that we're entering into a new season of our lives. We're entering into a new season, you know. In, in the world too, right? With the 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 movement into into spring or into into fall, depending on where you are in the world. I know that is is a bit out, but we're going to start feeling it during this time. We can feel a change within ourselves. There's something more that we're looking for. There's something more that we want. There's something that is intriguing us, that is guiding us forward. So that's going to be a really great thing as well. It's time to follow our hearts. It's time to embrace our angels blessing us. When we see the lovers, we instantaneously, or at least I do, think of romantic love. And it can be that. It can be that we're falling in love. But it's also that we're falling in love 
with ourselves, the sacred masculine, sacred feminine aspect of ourselves, what we love, what we want, the way to move forward in our lives. This is a sense of blessing, but love also tells us move forward in love. It's not about proving anything to anybody else. It's not about, you know, all the things that the world says you should be worrying about or, you know, obsessing over. It is about moving forward in love and being in love with who we are. And that sometimes feels like the trickiest thing of all. We're releasing a lot of vampiric energy. We can be kind of holding on to a little bit of vampiric energy too during this time. It's like, oh no, but I need that little bit of, you know, person who speaks meanly to me because it it pushes me forward. It's not a person who gives you a swift kick in the tush, you know, in order to achieve your goals. Like it's not that person who loves you, but is a straight talker type of thing. It is the person who drains you, who takes away your joy, who makes you feel like you can never possibly achieve anything. That is who spirit is talking about. And you're going to see here with the four of pentacles reverse that there are also blockages around your energy flow that you're going to start to be releasing. Now, this can be we can go from one extreme to another, from being totally blocked off from our energy flow in the world's energy to then being totally opened up to it and, and just taking in everything. So do be mindful about that. Let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Yeah, again, patience is reversed. We don't have much patience during this moon. And it's it's a harsh thing because nobody has the patience. Everybody wants everybody to be patient with them, but nobody has the patience. Everybody's like they've they've just had a little bit too much. So just just be aware of this. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Mm -hmm. angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show, show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly okay so we have here faith reversed we need to have faith in our ability to dream, our ability to nurture our dreams. We then have a time to give rather than take. No, this is a time to take in the energy that we need. This is a time to say, how do I need to move forward? How do I heal myself? How do I feed my energy? How do I, how do I see me? It brings us to a new start is coming. We are going to be using a lot of the wisdom that we have had from feeling unstable, right? To feeling like what we have devoted ourselves to is, is backfiring on us. So being mindful about that during this time is going to be important too. A new start is coming. Wisdom is guiding us. Wisdom is guiding us. It's our angels are whispering to us. You know, we're going to have people in our lives who are, are giving us guidance and direction because they've lived through it. They've been through it. Again, this is not the, the mean talking people. It's interesting because we're going to be more inclined to listen or have the words of people who just speak really horribly to us stuck in our heads than people who love us and try to move us forward, like try to help us to, to grow and to embrace our queen of pentacles potential. Surrender to the divine is, is hard for us. Surrendering is hard for us. We, we would think that as a Pisces energy, you know, we'd be go with the flow type of thing, but we're kind of like, prove it, you know, prove that. I should be trusting you or proof that I even have, you know, good enough judgment. So just be mindful about that. Surrendering to the divine is going to be important. The ever changing face that we bring to our lives and to ourselves and this moon leading us forward saying, okay, our face is always changing. You know, the way that we see the world and ourselves is always changing from the full moon to, you know, the, the, the waxing moon, the waning moon, the gibbon, the gibbon moon, Gibson moon, Gibson moon, you know, to, to the new moon. It's always, always changing. And I know I got those orders wrong, but here it's, it's being patient with ourselves and it's needing to have that patient patience to nurture the seeds, to see ourselves grow into prosperity, to listen to our dreams because prosperity does lie ahead. It does. It just doesn't feel that way. We need to accept all aspects of ourselves and know that prosperity does lie ahead. We're entering into a new season. We're going through a transition and the end of a tough cycle is approaching. It brings with it peace, but we have to move forward in love. We have to. It's going to be so important for us to move forward in love. Luck is on our side. It's time to take aim and we need to be discerning 
about the energy that we listen to, about, you know, what guides us forward during this time. Because it will be very easy to, for us to listen to everybody, a again, especially the nasty people, because we're thinking, oh, you know, they're making some good points. I do do that or I do do this. And spirits like embrace your love, embrace yourself, move yourself forward. That is so important. That is so important. Come from a place of love. Let that love guide you. S some people will be repelled by it because they can't love at all. Okay. Coming from a place of love is going to be an energy that can make others feel very, very uncomfortable. Keep on coming from it. Keep on coming from it. Keep on raising your energy vib vibration, going after what you want. Again, this does not mean we are all going to get the mansion on the hill, but it does always bring me to my favorite quote and my favorite saying. It's a Nordic saying, an ancient Nordic saying, and it says, better to be king of a cottage than servant in a castle. And that was said in times where you could be servant in a castle. But in our modern world, it's better to be king of a cottage than servant to the castle, right? You have the mansion, you have the bigger is everything, and you're just living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck, and it's strangling you. We don't need to go for bigger is better, bigger is better. When is enough enough? In our world right now, when is enough enough? Our subconscious spirit message is imagine. Imagine reverse. It's time to connect with our imagination again. And that is important. We need to. It's, it's going to feed our soul. Our subconscious spirit message or chakra message is angels and masters. This is our soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. We are deeply protected by our angels, by our spirit guides. Our angels' wings are wrapped around us. We are protected and well-loved. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the sun. It's the thing that we think we don't have to worry about. And it can be the person we think, oh, I don't have to worry about you. You totally got you. Just pay them a bit of attention. Be kind. Our subconscious tarot message is the Knight of Wands. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Moving forward in determination, fire, and focus. This is going to be a time where our passion runs high. We are highly determined and we are highly driven. Our subconscious Luna message is growth. <laughs> and we have the Virgo new moon here we have the virgo full moon here and it is they're both reversed so virgo does this mess with us us a bit it says you are good enough we don't believe that we believe that there's always more you are good enough i always say this when i first started using these decks many years ago i read this and i thought how rude how rude to say you are good enough you know you're always striving you're always achieving you're always pushing for more it's never enough and what a sad way to be you are good enough as you stand right now, you are good enough. You can grow, you can learn, you can become better, most definitely, but you're enough right now. Growth is reverse. Are we growing? Not if we don't think we're enough. Not if we're not seeing our blessings, we're not growing. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Oh, and know that this meditation and healing is accompanied by a loud sound. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.